Dun 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 dun! <laughs> Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain for another nostalgic review and you don't get more nostalgic than the original UNSC Pelican. This is it man, this is like the pinnacle, this is the crowning glory of Mega so far. They'd release small sets, you know, pretty low key, building up, building up, the Wraith was probably their biggest at the time and then BAM! The UNSC Pelican. It's basically a signature build at this point. I think the first signature build is probably the Elephant. This is the UNSC Pelican and yeah, man, like, there's some really crazy things to talk about with this. We're gonna start with the figures, as we always do. The first new mold is the Pelican Pilot, and this pilot is uh, it's pretty, it's pretty exceptional. It uses a lot of basic marine pieces, but it has this really gorgeous visor. I love it. Like, it's it's so straight out of Halo 2 Anniversary, if you ask me. Like, it's, it's really great to see. And we also got an Arctic Pelican pilot in blind bags pretty soon after this. It's really cool. And it's really great that we have a specific pilot for the Pelican. Like, Mega didn't have to do that, but they went out of their way with a great assault rifle. He looks so badass. Like, that helmet is seriously badass. I would love to get something like that again. I mean, we did, really. Like, the nostalgia was hit home with the Pelican pilot in Pelican Inbound. He has the same kind of helmet. You gotta love him for it. You gotta love him for Two it. Two yellow Spartans and a Hayabusa. And these, uh, you know, I've mentioned uh, very uh, often in these reviews that the back wash, the sort of black wash that runs through their armor is always really great. Adds a more 3D element, adds like a dirty effect, and these are some of the dirtiest Spartans. You're dirty Spartans. You Probably because you've been in a Pelican cockpit for days, but I mean, these really do have that backwash to the 10th degree. The silver visors are a really nice touch for me. They're much better than just gold. Like, they, they really do make the figures stand out, especially on this camera, and the Hayabusa as well, man. Yeah, we've had basic Spartans in red, orange, and green so far, and this Hayabusa, once they got the mold, they didn't stop. We had an orange, yellow, white, a pink, a blue. They love Hayabusa, and it's a shame we'll never get it in new articulation because of licensing issues. He also has this enormous shotgun and his katana, which clips into his back. And these two Spartans had a Magnum and a Spanker rocket launcher. Really dope figures. But the Pelican is what we're here to talk about today, of course, and it's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's another Pelican pilot in there. <laughs> I got the first one ready for the review, and I guess that one was chilling. Yeah, what a nice Pelican, man, and crazy that the Pelican Inbound is only the second iteration of a green Pelican. We've had the Medic Pelican, and we've had, like, a dirty green Pelican in Halo 4, but this is, like, the true green military UNSC look to it, and you, you just gotta love it for it. This Pelican does use that classic injection mold effect where every green brick looks different. It's Mega's signature camo, and they've loved it ever since, and there's a lot of good sticker decals on this as well. It's just an all-round amazing set. The two pieces that, uh, you know, when you see a Pelican listed online and it's like 99% complete, usually it's because it's missing these two pieces. This one just falls off instantly. It's just studded on. Most people have lost this. It's just been, it's just been lost to the times of your collection. But this one is 100% complete and has all the gorgeous sticker decals to boot. If you look at the front there, you can see these yellow lights are great for searching for uh, for Spartans they need to rescue. Ah, if you told me this came out in 2022, I'd believe you. Like, it's just such a nice build. The cockpit opens up. You can fit two passengers in there very nicely, and there is a railing that is a great touch. Sticker decal for the main controls. Just studs in there nicely, and these figures do actually fit in quite nice. Uh, I've said in a lot of my nostalgic reviews, the figures aren't really designed to fit inside. I mean, they do, but like just about. These ones are really well fitted inside. Like there's a lot of attention to detail there. The left and the right wings, they have this red gem and then these folding tails. Everything feels quite ergonomic. This is uh, a little bit too rough. It would have been nice if this was a little more uh, streamlined, a bit more flat thinned pieces. But this one is pretty great. They slot in with this cool ratchet effect that cranks like that so you can really have the pelican in any kind of position. And then you also have these nice tall bricks that uh, thicken it out, nice support. At the back, we've got these two exhausts, again on this ratchet system, again with these flaps. And uh, you use these pieces a lot in the build as well, these flat ones, and they work really nicely. Again, they make it very ergonomic. And we have our engine propellers as well. Mega just has come a long way, and it's made me particularly uh, respect Mega, because I've been going through this nostalgia series. I started with the original Spring 2009 line, now we're on Fall 2010, and just so much has changed. Like, they've innovated so much in such a short amount of time, too. If you open up the top, you can see 
four seats inside. There's also a driver's seat as well. Not much detail in there, but there doesn't really need to be. Certainly the Pelican inbound had more detail and that also opened up. <sighs> Everything just feels great with this set, man. Passengers in the Pelican can access it via this ramp that folds down, and the base of the Pelican is held together by a lot of transparent bricks, including the silver one, which is an interesting choice. UNSC, United Nations Space Command, Marines. Also, these stickers run across multiple bricks, so if you ever want to rebuild your Pelican, it can be a challenge, because you're going to have to reapply those stickers. The Pelican inbound was Mega's first way to really show off what they were capable of with large-scale builds, and they continued to expand on this philosophy on on this design principle into the Phantom and the Elephant as well. I gotta give them a massive round of applause for just one and a half, maybe two years into development of Halo Mega Bloks. They come out with a showstopper like this Pelican and really make the internet say, wow, you guys are capable of great things. Like this Pelican can't even really fit on my camera display. Like it's it's a wonderfully large build. Let me know in the comments down below if you managed to score this when it first came out or if it was something you picked up over time or maybe you got introduced to Halo Mega through the Pelican inbound and now you're looking at this and you're like, hey, I gotta get both of these Pelicans. <laughs> Good luck ever getting the NMPD Pelican. Man, that is expensive. Yeah, shout out to you all, and particularly shout out to my patrons for supporting this channel so much with just $3 or more every month. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Hope you're enjoying this nostalgic review series. I sure am enjoying recording them. And the Hayabusa is signing off.